unhappy with the gifts you have not received yet. We go through many emotions, mental thoughts and more as we go from happy or unhappy with what we are, who we are and where we are. Many will be happy with the gifts received up until this moment, but as humans we don't stand still within those moments and we look forward towards the gifts we still want, expect or hope to receive. In reality happiness is a fleeting emotion most of the time as the unhappiness takes over and we look to what we do not have within that moment. This result in happiness not actually being a full complete happiness, as the unhappiness lingers constantly within the background, and the peace many are looking for cannot be perceived in full as the human metal, mind is not accepting the fullness of what is but is always looking for what not is. This is part of the human mental construction. This can be relieved by becoming more grounded within a spiritual reality connecting with the human, earth reality. But the mind plays a big part in this, as we linger within the unhappiness much longer than lingering within the happiness. If we avoid the unhappiness, or try to avoid the unhappiness, peace is also not felt fully, as we avoid parts of us that are not at peace. The solution would be to fully experience and go through the unhappiness into the happiness, but this requires a courage many times that is not easy to the mental mind of the human, as each human is taught in many ways to look for what they do not have yet, instead of looking at what is already there. Much of this is related to the reality or understanding of the human as far as what it is they are really looking for. With so much focus on what is needed or wanted within the physical reality, we forget that the spiritual reality is the part of us that is really looking for the change. The change within the spiritual reality is what each soul is searching for, the mind translates this in searching within the physical reality for what it needs. The space in between is where the peace is found but this requires the mind to understand the spiritual reality and its connection into the physical reality as well as the mind needs to understand the physical reality connection into the spiritual reality. This is not achieved by just raising your frequency, going into higher frequencies, as you avoid in this swa the full connection between the spiritual and physical reality. Knowing everything is an illusion, doesn't negate the illusion of the physical reality, it only teaches you that there is more, it doesn't bring the physical into the spiritual or bring the spiritual into the physical. Once humans realize there is a spiritual reality, and the physical reality is part of what many call an illusion, they try to avoid the illusion, and in this way also avoid connecting the spiritual into the physical. Or not allowing the spiritual to become more part of the physical as the spiritual also needs to be able to understand more about the physical. In reality the spiritual needs to experience the physical in all its aspects. Allowing the spiritual to find the appropriate solutions to what is needed within the physical and what it needs to adjust the human, or teach the human to become a more spiritual being connected into or living within the human reality. In a way the spiritual parts of us are always looking for the human to become or live a spiritual reality at all times, understanding also that to get there. The human has needs. The human needs to learn to understand the spiritual and its ways of working within the spiritual reality to allow the human to adjust and become that spiritual reality. It is a very intricate process of connection and teaching as well as learning from within, or through the within of each being. Petra Margolis www.ascendmasters.org April 14, 2016 Copyright Copyright 2016 Petra Margolis All Rights Reserved This message may be posted including the author's name and link.